Hey guys, welcome back to the guides. This guide's going to be for Fiery Forge. This is going to be one of your harder, this is where we get into the harder uh, farms. So this farm's hard because of which you can get certain enemies spawn at the start. You can either get all the Illager and the Royal Archers or you can get Lucky and just get the Spiders. And then this time we got regular mobs, so Lucky me. But what you want to do is just run straight on by, just as we always have been doing. You can get a lot of chests in this one, depending on your spawns. So you just want to carry on dodging all these guys straight into the forge. You want to make your way down here. And hopefully you can hear a pig, which will spawn eventually. Just remember to keep shooting the enemies and running. The skeleton horsemen, that's not what we want. We want to try and outrun these. They're pretty quick, but you can still outrun them. So we've just outrun them, so we'll keep on running straight on down. Around here you can have a uh, another boss spawn on that bridge. Luckily today apparently we've got really good spawns in the Fiery Forge, which is amazing for this guide. I'm also going the wrong way. So if we just keep on following the quest mark around. The only bit we're really interested in is the uh, overloading the cores. So hopefully when we go to overload the cores which are here, so there's one guaranteed pig. Just quickly kill that. That was one of our chances. Just want to use this. And you always want to enter these. These will always give you a red chest, which is a guaranteed chance at a um, unique. So you just want to clear this place out nice and quick. And you want to do all of these that spawn in the cause area never leave one behind because that could have been a unique you got and you'll kick yourself if you don't get it so you just quickly clear this out grab your chest that's a gravity hammer for me nice nice so we just uh, keep on running around but you would just continue doing these and overloading the cores as as you normally would just run straight over pop the last of your cores if you stick to the wall they can't hit you Oh, so there's another one, so we'll quickly get this one done as well. Just walk onto it. Pop your mushroom. This is why we always have the mushroom. Not only is it move speed, but it's going to help clear these rooms out a little quicker. So we'll just quickly get this room cleared out nice and quick. Just like this. Our chest spawns. That would have gave us another chance, so then we just want to overload the last of these cores. I believe we're going to be going this way to do the cores anyway, so I'll get this one down here real quick. You always want to just have a look where where you think the exit's going to be. If you can always keep an eye on where the exit is, you can always figure out what, uh, what order you're overloading these cores in. So once you get down here, just overload your last two cores but not get stuck apparently. It can go through that bridge, so if you can, just straight over the top of it. And down here. Kill this pig. That would have been another chance. Get rid of the spiders, and just run on down. This is going to be where you get ready to use your potion barrier, but you always want to zigzag down here, because of the amount of archers there are. They can actually one-shot you, which is really annoying. So just keep on going. This will be your second corridor in a moment. This is going to be an even worse corridor, so just keep that movement speed up. If there is an Enderman, you have two choices, or if there's a boss, sorry, you have two choices. You can either fight the boss in all these enemies, pop your potion barrier, and just go for it, like I have. And then you just want to carry on down here, straight to the boss, nice and quick. This is actually probably one of the best runs I've had on the Fiery Forge, I'm not going to lie. You just want to run straight down, as soon as you get in here, swap over to your gong, pop your gong, quickly defeat the boss. Double unique, that's a nice one, so we'll just uh, keep on running. And you might as well finish this one as well, because it gives... Um, it gives a unique, which is pretty quick to get to. Uh, a unique, it gives an artifact, sorry. Alright, I'll see you in the next one, guys.